Lexington County Master Gardener Association presents in the Garden Like a Master series, Smilex, a menace in the garden. This is Karen Campbell, Lexington County Master Gardener, talking to you about Smilex, commonly known as green briars. Over 300 varieties worldwide. In South Carolina, unfortunately, we have about 10 or 14 common varieties. Some of the names you might have heard of, deer thorns, green briars, cat briars. These are hidden climbers that you'll find going up through your trees and shrubs in your garden. They're perennial evergreens. They grow upwards with tendrils. They have very stiff thorns and they can reach a height of 30 feet. Smilax bononox, commonly known as saw green briar, has an unusual shaped leaf, but you can't miss their horrible stiff thorns if you reach in with or without a glove. Smilax calabra or cat briar has a very tiny thorn that grows up through the vine. Smilax rotundifolia, commonly known as bull briar, is one that can go up to 30 feet in height and see these coming up through the tops of trees. It's also got a round leaf, so another common name is the round leaf green briar. Smilax smolia or Jackson vine has a prickly thorn at the base. So you'll find the thorns, very small thorns, coming up from the, from the ground, going upwards into the leaves and then stopping. These vines are not particular where they grow. They can take sun, part sun, and even shade. They can grow up through your plants, holding on with tendrils. What's under the ground is most important. This is a knobby rhizome. So if you continue to cut the vine off at the ground level, you're helping to rejuvenate more runners and vines to be grown underneath. It is difficult also to kill with weed killer, but possible. There's a couple control me methods Clemson Home and Garden Information Center recommends. One is to cut the Smilax greenbrier to ground level. You want to apply a herbicide after the new growth begins. You're looking for the active ingredient of glyphosate. Glyphosate is mixed in, in a 10% solution following the guidelines on the Clemson fact sheet 2328. You're painting or spraying this on tender new growth that's up to a foot tall. This is used on vines that have been cut close to the ground. Again, follow directions on the herbicide label and be careful not to get this on your other ornamental plants. Examples of brands and products that contain the active ingredient glyphosate can be found on the HGIC site. Another post-emergent herbicide is used on more of a mature foliage of the greenbrier vine. It has a waxy leaf, but it can be sprayed on these leaves, and it can also be sprayed or painted on the stumps of greenbrier vines. Once again, follow label directions. The fact sheet will tell you how to mix that active ingredient. Be careful not to get this too on your ornamental plants. There are examples and brands listed on the HGIC site for products that contain triclotha. One option is to dig out the rhizome. Now, you've gotta be cautious with your shovel that you don't get too close to cut it into pieces because that's gonna rejuvenate vines and runners. But you wanna stay away so that you can lift it up and get that rhizome out. Can you tell which rhizome and Smilax vine has grown and been cut off numerous times at the top of the ground and not dug up? It's a great day in South Carolina garden when you can remove Smilax from your garden. Please visit the Clemson Home and Garden Information Center for all of your plant information needs. You can simply ask the, through the site, through the search bar, one of the plants you might have, or if you know the fact sheet number, put that in. Smilax is 2328. The Lexington County Clemson Extension Office is located on West Main Street in Lexington, South Carolina. You can bring soil samples to have identified. You can bring plants for identification when you're not sure what you have growing in your garden. And you can also come with your plant problems and ask questions. If the Lexington County Master Gardener volunteers can help, we're happy to answer your questions. Simply send an email to askamastergardener 
info at lcmgv.org. Make every day a great day gardening in South Carolina, and you too will be gardening like a master.